Hey guys, welcome back. In this video tutorial, I am going to show you how to set up a sensor that is BME280. In the previous videos, we have seen working of different digital sensors. This is our sensor, as you can see, it's a temperature, humidity, and pressure sensor BME280. Now, let's move on to our website that is controleverything.com and here search in for this sensor which we will set up. So it's a digital humidity plus minus 3% RH pressure and temperature sensor and these are its some of its features which you are able to see. You can purchase this sensor from here. Moving further, I will be showing the interfacing of the sensor BME280 using an Arduino Nano and for that I require an Arduino code. So on to the resource tab. We have the Arduino code sample which you are looking on my screen and you can download the code from here. You can also download the code from our GitHub repository that is control everything community. Now you have two ways to download the code and you can go either way. Now let's have a look over the hardware, the accessories, the products we acquire for this setup and why not we have a look for that. Now this is our sensor that is digital humidity, pressure and temperature sensor BME280 and which we are going to be set up. In addition to this we need an Arduino Nano. Now to provide the solution of connection among the sensor and Arduino Nano and to further make it easy we need an I2C shield or adapter. This is available on our website controleverything.com and gently place this I2C adapter and an Arduino Nano and make this connection like this. Now the binding factor is a connecting cable which will help us to make the connection among the sensor and the I2C shield. Now make the connection of the sensor and the cable and while making this connection make sure that the ground wire of the cable should be connected to the ground terminal of the sensor and same thing has to happen for the I2C shield. Now we need to power up our Arduino Nano and for that we require a mini USB cable. Gently insert it over the power jack. Now we are done with our connections part and hence we are completed this section. Let's proceed further. Well we have the setup of the hardware we require for the interfacing. The next thing we want to do is to interface the sensor with our Arduino Nano and for that we require the code. Arduino code of course. So log in to github.com and here search for control everything repository which is the official repository of control everything.com. Now here type in BME280 which is the required sensor and here we go. This is the Arduino code. Before proceeding further let's have a look of the instructions first. We have to download and install the Arduino software ID on our local machine and this is the Arduino's link which will help us to do that. Let's have a look over the link first. It's a www.arduino.cc link. You can download the Arduino software for Windows, Mac, Linux operating system. You can install it. All the dependencies, steps, instructions are provided here. You can take the help of this link. Now get back to the code and let's proceed further. As you can see it's a .in extension file. The first thing you notice that we have included the wire.h library and we have defined the address of the sensor that is 0x76. In the void setup function, we have initialized I2C communication as master and initialized serial communication with the baud rate equal to 9600. In the void loop function, we have some of the data as you can see that we have to set up first of all. And for that, we have some data. Uh, we have write uh, data selection from 136 plus i, which goes for 0x88 as you can see in the hexadecimal. We have read 24 bytes of data and this is a conversion part of the data which is according to the data sheet for BME280. We have temperature coefficients, pressure coefficients and similarly we have selected data from the address 161 for the decimal equivalent, requested and read byte for humidity data and similarly again we have read and requested humidity data from the address 225. Now this is the conversion part of the humidity coefficients as you can see. Now we have to set up the device. 
For that, first of all, we have selected the controlled humidity register going for address 0xf2 and the command send is humidity over sampling rate equal to 1. Command is 0x01. Now, we have selected configuration uh, for the control measurement register and the address is 0xf4. Command send is normal mode temperature and pressure over sampling rate equal to 1 goes for 0x27. At the end, we have selected config register having address 0x f5 and standby time is 1000 ms. 0x a0 is the writing command for that. Now we are done with the setup. Now we have to read by the data as you can see. Uh, we are getting the data from 247 plus i. We have requested and read 8 bytes of data. Now we are getting a new reading here. It pulls a new data which we can process it and see the open values. So here's the conversion part for the pressure and temperature data, conversion of humidity data. Again, we have temperature offset calculations, pressure and similarly humidity offset calculations. These all are according to the data and the conversion formulas being provided in the data sheet for BME 280. So this is done. Now at the very end of our data, we have the output data onto the serial monitor and we have formatted it to the exact values as you can see temperature for Celsius and Fahrenheit scales, pressure for hectopascal and relative humidity for percentage RH. So it's a very simple and generalized code which you can use to set up your sensor and interface it. So let's have a look over the interfacing and the working of the sensor. So proceed further. Uh, now let's give this code a road to run and for that uh, first of all copy this entire code and open up the Arduino terminal for that. Now in the Arduino terminal paste this entire code and save it and the name is 280 and BME280 for the reference and now compile and verify the code and now upload the code. It might take a while but let's wait. It's good to go. Now we have to see the results on the serial monitor and for that open up the serial monitor. As you can see the temperature, pressure and relative humidity are there. Now when I press my finger over the sensor there is a change for the relative humidity, pressure and temperature. Now as you can see it's returning to its normal mode. Now when I again do that this again change in relative humidity, pressure and temperature for Celsius and Fahrenheit scales. So this is how Arduino code for BME280 works with Arduino Nano. Let's proceed further and see what are the applications features of for this sensor. So far now we have seen the setup, the hardware and the working of the sensor BME280. The BME280 is as combined digital humidity pressure and temperature sensor based on proven sensing principles. The BME280 achieves high performance in all applications requiring humidity and pressure measurement. These emerging applications of home automation control, indoor navigation, healthcare, as well as GPS refinement require a high accuracy and allow TCO at the same time. The humidity sensor provides an extremely fast response for fast context, awareness applications and high overall accuracy over a wide temperature range. This product can be purchased from very website of controleverything.com and the required code is available on the resource tab as I shown you earlier. You can download the code from our GitHub repository that is control everything community. So I have shown you a uh, easy way to get it set up this sensor BME280 it's working and its applications. Uh, I would make it clear in case you are in a kind of thought that uh, you are left without fully understanding. So for that if you have further queries if you want to contact me contact me on controleverything.com and be sure to post your comments your queries on our community page which is shown here. Now if you want to look over the articles blogs of these videos you can check us on instructables.com and for more video tutorials you can subscribe our YouTube channel. I hope you found this video useful and I have more videos coming on my way. 
till then you enjoy yourself and have a nice day thanks for watching